So I, I want to bring us back to common ground. I'll talk about a topic I'm pretty sure we can all identify with. This is one of my personal favorite topics. <laughs> um, I like money. I, I'm not being paid to speak today, but uh, in my normal day-to-day -day life, I do get paid. Uh, I'm a big fan of getting paid. I'm also a big fan of other people getting paid. Uh, you know, at Square, we think deeply about this notion about economic empowerment and allowing more people that maybe previously could not participate in the economy to get paid within the economy, to actually participate, to actually be able to actually have commerce and opportunities that they could not previously. Oftentimes, you'll find these like, you know, small individual you know, entrepreneurs who are fairly new to commerce in some cases, and they share something in common with me. I hate having my money stolen. I hate also seeing other people have their money stolen. And, and so, you know, I go back to some of the things that we think about when it you know, comes to actually making commerce work and those small business owners, you know, the, the person who's you know, just starting up a bodega that's on a corner shop or you know, maybe that you know, one you know, crazy hippie friend of yours that's going to be selling beads on the sidewalk, et cetera. How do you actually allow them to do the common things we think of when it comes to commerce? Often when you actually go into a store, this is your interaction with the person who's at the, you know, the front counter. You think about that coffee shop, right? Like, what are the things that a person inside of a coffee shop has to think about? And, and then take a step back. What are the things that a person in the coffee shop should be thinking about? We've already seen a couple of presentations where we've already had kind of like the logos of shame. <laughs> you know, you see your targets. You know, you see, uh, obviously, you see Equifax. Um, you know, you see all these things, et cetera. You probably see Sonic Drive-In, all these places. And oftentimes, you know, it's some kind of breach, some kind of compromise. All these things that, at the end of the day, was not their core business, which is actually being security companies, security aware, security conscious. And instead, their core business was actually selling you, you know, random stuff from Target, selling you a really unhealthy cheeseburger from Sonic, all these other kind of things. And, and I really you know, that resonates with me because I think about the person running a coffee shop. So I see lots of coffee cups here. So I know we have a lot of coffee drinkers. And so, you know, we go to these coffee shops. It's a really common thing, especially in the Bay Area, because rent is expensive. You have really small houses. You go to the coffee shop because that's your second office. And you hop on that coffee shop Wi-Fi. You're hopping on that coffee shop Wi-Fi also with this same point of sale system. How many of you know of baristas that know anything about VLANs, network segmentation, patching, um, et cetera. However, we give them tools that require them to know that. When they get popped, not if, when they get popped, we start pointing fingers at them. We blame the barista. We blame the coffee shop owner who, at the end of the day, their goal is to sell you coffee. Their goal is to sell you delicious coffee, get money from you, obviously, and hopefully get repeat business from you. Their goal is not to be a security expert. At Square, we decided we don't want to blame those people. We want to give people the tools that they need to actually do the job that they're doing. Our job is the job of actually having secure devices. Our job is about making you know, infrastructure and security and software that actually meets those users where they are. If you're a coffee shop owner, and you want to take credit cards, you can just buy a Square Reader. You can get you know, the little MagStripe readers for free. And if you just saw our big announcement yesterday, you can even get one of the more you know, fancier displays. At the end of the day, though, you don't have to actually think about security. You don't know, have to know anything about cert pinning. You don't know, have to know anything about TLS. You don't have to know anything about just general patching and those kind of things. You just have to think about and focus on making delicious hipster coffee so those obnoxious San Francisco's will come back to your shop again, right? Those are the things, and those are the things that you should be thinking of as a coffee shop owner, making coffee. Your goal is to make coffee. Your need is to have secure infrastructure to actually facilitate that.